The National Eye Institute launched the 3D Rock Challenge to stimulate research teams to develop an advanced three-dimensional retinal organoid system that would recreate the cellular organization and physiology of the human retina. In the case of the category for disease modeling, the specific goal was to develop a system that would recreate morphological and physiological aspects of a particular disease affecting the retina. To address this challenge, we brought together a team of investigators with complementary expertise that includes investigators from our cell site research program as well as investigators from nanoscope technologies. The solution we propose involves combining physiologically competent neural retina and RPE tissues that are derived from human-induced pluripotent stem cells to generate a physiologically competent three-dimensional model of the outer retina that will be capable of recreating pathophysiological aspects of dry age-related macular degeneration, also known as dry AMD. Uh, Human-induced pluripotent stem cells can be generated from skin or blood cells from any adult. They can then be differentiated at any cell type, including retinal neurons. Using these induced pluripotent stem cells and knowledge of eye development, we can generate hundreds of laminated human retinal organoids, which recreate the cellular composition, organization, and growth timing of the native neural retina. Our retinal organoids generate all major cell types. This includes ganglion cells, amacrine horizontal and bipolar interneurons, Mueller glia, and importantly, the rod and cone photoreceptors. Excitingly, we have been able to demonstrate that the photoreceptors in our retinal organoids are metabolically active and respond to light. Using a non-invasive imaging technology that allows visualization of retinal organoids while they are alive, we could demonstrate in real time that these photoreceptors are metabolically active and that they can generate biomolecules that are important for the normal functioning of these cells. Also, in partnership with nanoscope technologies, we demonstrated that these photoreceptors respond to light and that they are able to transmit that response to other cells in the retinal organoids. Very importantly, within the context of modeling age-related macular degeneration, the photoreceptors in these organoids are capable of eliciting physiological responses to environmental stressors that are involved in the mechanisms that lead to AMD. In parallel, we have also established a novel method for deriving functionally mature RPE tissue that is analogous to the native human RPE. Our RPE tissue is physiologically competent, is fully polarized, and exhibits functional hallmarks of bona fide mature RPE cells including phagocytosis of photoreceptors outlet segments. Importantly, these RP cells recapitulate mechanisms of early AMD, such as the formation of drusens, in response to stressors that are known to trigger AMD. So by combining our retinal organoid and RP technologies, we have now established a novel 3D retinal complex that provides the first physiologically competent human model of the outer retina. Our retinal tissue complex recreates the cellular organization of the outer retina, including a layer of RP cells, an outer nuclear layer that contains all photoreceptor subtypes, an outer plexiform layer, and the associated bipolar and horizontal interneurons as well as Mueller glial cells. Importantly, it recreates in vitro the complex cell-to-cell -cell interactions between photoreceptors and RPE that occur within the native retina, as for example the interdigitation of the RPE microvilli and the photoreceptor outer segments, and the process of phagocytosis of these outer segments by the RPE cells. Our physiologically competent model of the outer retina provides the first 3D human model of AMD in a dish that combines several key aspects of AMD, including aging, chronic oxidative stress that is induced by AMD stressors, and the formation of drusen. This is an innovative and highly versatile model that will, for the first time, enable the study of the cellular interactions between photoreceptors and RPE that is involved in the early stages of AMD. Also importantly, our model 
provides a platform for the discovery of novel agents that could eventually be used for the prevention or treatment of this condition in patients.